A topic that can be a little confusing at the start for advanced algebra students is imaginary numbers, and more generally, complex numbers. Sometimes problems require us to take the square root of negative 1. We call this number i. If this feels fake or artificial to you, remember you probably felt the same way about negative numbers the first time they were introduced to you. We can take the square root of other negative numbers in the same way, so the square root of negative 9 is 3i. An important property of imaginary numbers is that since the square root of negative 1 equals i, if we square both sides of that equation, we can see that i squared equals negative 1. Complex numbers have a real and imaginary part. Their general format is a plus bi, where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part. Let's say we are asked to multiply these two complex numbers together. By multiplying the first, outer, inner, and last terms, or foiling, we get a plus 4i minus 12i minus 6i squared. 4i minus 12i is negative 8i, but also remember that i squared equals negative 1. That means we'll have a plus 6 at the end of our expression. Combine that with the 8 to get 14 minus 8i. Another common problem with complex numbers is rationalizing. It's a rule of math that we can't have square roots in a denominator, and i is the square root of negative 1. The easiest way to eliminate the i in the denominator is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate, which is the original denominator, but with a sign change on the imaginary part. From here, the simplifying works just as it did when we multiplied complex numbers before. Now let's take a look at complex numbers on a graphing calculator. You'll want to start by putting your TI-84 into complex mode. Press mode and select A plus BI for complex. This will allow the calculator to display the square root of negative numbers. Now quit back to the home screen. Check to make sure you set the calculator's mode correctly by taking the square root of negative 9. You should see 3i. Next, we'll multiply two complex numbers together. The i button is actually just the decimal button. You'll need to press second to access it. Although multiplying two complex numbers together isn't usually that time consuming, the TI-84 can multiply many complex numbers together at once, and you can even raise complex numbers to large exponents. Unfortunately, the new fraction modes offered on TI-84 OS 2.53 do not play nicely with complex numbers. That means if you want to rationalize a complex number, you'll need to use the divide symbol and parentheses. In this case, 1 over 2 minus i is rationalized. If you're using an older version of the 84 OS, at this point you can go into the math menu and convert back to a fraction. This functionality appears to be broken in OS 2.53 and we hope TI will fix it in a future update.